I'm a slave to the supplement racket. See it up there? Just like everybody else who goes to the gym or was planning, I was planning on going to the gym. I was gonna be there. I bought all the supplements. Yeah, I buy all the supplements, been addicted for 20 years, but, but, I'm at least smart enough to know that my money can go a long way. I don't buy my supplements at, you know, retail companies that, GNC, GNC is in a lot of financial trouble. GNC almost got bought out in June. There was an offer for 1.1 billion from Harbin Gloria Pharmaceuticals. That's out of China. But GNC was just hitting the very bottom of a 70% decline in their valuation. 70%. GNC is on some hard times. Now, they've had some activist investors even look at their company. Now, they say they're not interested in selling, but we've had activist investor groups, even some with money backed by Jack Ma, that's big money over in China, say, you know what, we're just not interested in this. Could it be because your prices are ridiculous for what supplements actually do? Like, you know, you're just selling protein powder, right, GNC? I mean, the internet's around now. People kind of have the knowledge, I'd like to think, that their money can go a lot of other places instead of spending $80 on a tub of protein powder when you can get it for, you know, like a fraction of that price. But that's not my problem. That sounds like GNC's problem. They're not doing well. So they're trying to find some inroads into China and saying, you know, like, we'll take on a partner. We're willing to do that because we need somebody who actually has the ability to get out there and push our product because we, we're not doing a very good job of it even in the United States where we've been around a long time. People are on to us. We need to go somewhere else where people aren't really on to the fact that this stuff up there isn't going to make you 300 pounds and bench five bills. That's just not going to be what takes place. Not at 80 bucks a bottle or a million dollars a bottle. It's just not in it unless you've got the genetics for it. That's just the way weightlifting or training or any other kind of supplement you might be taking works. But GNC is going to try. So Harbin Gloria and them, they're working something out, it sounds like. Harbin Gloria is maybe the last company on the table willing to work with them, but they're looking for some inroads into China. They're not willing to sell. Their market value is 70% down. They, they sell a product that, as far as I'm concerned, with a little bit of research, is something you wouldn't purchase there, obviously. Could I say go out and invest in GNC, or in this case, Harbin Gloria, who's also a publicly traded company over the ocean? I wouldn't invest in GNC, but that's just my opinion. You should do your own research, do your own due diligence. Maybe you like really expensive supplements. Maybe you're a bit of a supplement snob. Well, that's your call, you know what? But please, before you do any investing, speak to a professional, licensed financial advisor. Don't take information from me, somebody all hopped up on protein, honestly. Do your own research, be smart with your money. I'm Cody with Wall Street Breakdown. Click the subscribe button.